hello guys welcome to this channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about candlesticks pattern but first let's talk about the history about candlesticks in the 18th century candlesticks originated from what japanese right what merchants and traders who traded the market price daily with momentum hundreds of years ago now moving on what is candlesticks Candlesticks is a chart which shows the, what the price of what a particular what market. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about three vital parts to consider what in candlesticks. The number one, the opening. Well, did the market open? Because the bullish candle opens from the downside and the bearish candle what opened from the upside. Now, the number two, it's the body. What's the momentum of the candle? A momentum simply means what the range of which what the, the candle is being formed because we have the wicks the body of what the candle and the and what the color itself then the last one is the color which is the color because for the bullish like you can see here we have the green and the bearish we have what the red which is what the standard in forex but some folks use a lot of colors to what differentiates what between the bulls and what the bears and also some folks use what line and bars and all of that but this is the what the basics which i intend to use for this video now i'm talking about five bullish candles and five bearish candles take note these candles can serve as what entry triggers in the market when trader wants to place an entry we have to look for what an entry trigger to what give us enough reason to get involved Take note, don't always enter in a market where what the trend is not what street, in the sense that the market is in the ranging what uh conference or um consolidation and consolidation and you want to actually get involved in that chart. That'll be wrong. Looking for an entry as that don't that zone is actually what wrong. So let's move on. The first one we have here is hammer. Hammer actually shows a rejection of what? Lower price. Hammer shows that the, uh, the when the price opened, it opened as a bearish candle that took market from the upside down to the downside. But all of a sudden, there was a selling, a buying pressure that stepped in and closed price above the opening price of that what that what candle momentum at that point and so closes what above. An example of that is this: the market actually opened here, took market to the downside. And all of a sudden, bullish candle stepped in here and took market what to the upside. Let let me use another example here. This actually happened. It took my opened here and took market to the downside. And all of a sudden, the bullish candle stepped in, bullish pressure stepped in and closed market above the opening price here and closes what above here. This is what a hammer and it can what serve as and what entry trigger for a trader to take the market what to the upside depending on the flow of the market as at that what current state. The next one is tweezer what bottom tweezer button starts as the bearish candle and it pulls market to the downside and price which is the bullish stepped in and pushed the market what to a level and closed then the next candle which was formed was the what another candle which opened and took market to the downside and a bullish pressure stepped in and pushed market above the opening price and it closed above let me use this as another example here this was the bearish candle which opened here and took market to this side and buying pressure stepped in and closed market here then the next candle that was formed which was this, bus, this bullish and opened here and took market to the downside all of a sudden buying pressure stepped in and closed above the, word, the opening price and pushed market to the upside this is what tweezer what bottom and it can serve as an entry as you can see it took market what to the upside it can serve as an what as an entry to take market to what to the direction that you predicted before and the next one we are having here is the morning star morning star indicates that it um three candles that opened the first one was the bearish candle and it took market to the what to the downside took market to the downside and a bullish candle stepped in and it happens to be what an indecision candle and the next one which was formed was a bullish candle now take note of that indecision candle it opened meaning the price opened and bearish 
push the market to the downside buying pressure stepped in and pushed the market to the upside and this candle closed as an what indecision indecision showing that what there's a buying pressure and equally what is selling pressure which happens to be what an indecision in between what those two uh buyers and what the sellers now example of that is this is an indecision candle the selling price opened here and the indecision move the market what to the upside is what a morning star and it can serve as an what an entry an area of value where you would press an entry what and risk whatever you want to risk in that trade the next one is preceding pattern now this happens to be a bearish candle that opened and the bullish candle what open next to it the bullish candle closes above 50 percent of what the bearish candle momentum that was opened before the bullish this indicates what an entry for buyers it indicates and what an entry for buyers to take market what to the desired de destination an example of that is this this bearish candle opened here took the market to the downside this bullish candle opened here and closed here above it another one i'm going to be spotting here is this this so the bearish candle took the market here the bullish opened and closes above 50 percent of it which indicates what an entry for traders to do what ride the market to the upside now moving on the bearish candles for the bearish candle we have the first entry as what shooting star shooting star indicates that sellers buyers push the market to the upside and selling pressure stepped in and push the market below the opening price of where sellers or buyers was started pushing the market from now take note selling uh shooting star is the reverse of what hammer and this can be used as an entry for traders who want to what ride market to what to the downside now let me show you an example here the market opened here and pushed the market to this side selling pressure stepped in and what closed below the opening price now this can serve as an entry to take market to what to the downside and the next one on our list is bearish engulfing bearish engulfing indicates that buyers push the market to the upside and sellers opened and closed above what the buying pressure that was what there before the what the sellers came in the selling as bearish engulfing indicates that sellers are in charge as at that word that time now an example of that is this this was the bullish candle that took market to this side seller stepped in and pushed it a little bit higher and all of a sudden there was the bearish engulfing that engulfed the scandal entirely the body is what we consider in forex most of the times weeks is also considered mostly when we want to look at things like uh, um institution institution how they run at liquidity in case you're wondering how about that video i'm going to be dropping the description below how in the, our institution run out what liquidity and also if you're new to forex trading you need to understand market structure we're going to be dropping the link below about market structure also and the next one we have here is tweezer top tweezer top indicates that buying pressure stepped in and pushed the market high and seller stepped in and pushed the market low but it did not close at where was the the market started from and the next one indicates that buyer stepped in and pushed the market up and seller stepped in and pushed it what a little bit lower below the what opening price of the buyers now this is an example of it this is a tweezer top the open and close above here seller stepped in and what buyer stepped in here again and pushed the market above all of a sudden came up down by selling pressure and it closed below the opening price which can serve as what as an entry for traders to take the market what to that destined what direction the next one is evening star evening star indicates three candles some of the time it's four candles it depends on the market now but one thing we need to note is in the station in between what the sellers and the buyers 
the first three candles which are formed is the first bullish candle which took market to the upside an indecision candle and also what a bearish candle that took market what to the downside now the indecision connotes that the buyers were unable to push the market to the downside and also the sellers were unable to what push the, the buyers were unable to push the market to the upside and sellers were unable to push the market to the what to the downside this indicates that this example here serves as what as an evening star that took market what to the downside moving on dark cloud cover This is a market that covers above fifty percent of a, what a market. Let's say the bull, bullish market actually opened and took market to the upside, and the bearish candle stepped in and took market what to the downside. Now an example of that is in this chart. They cover fifty percent above fifty percent of what that entry of your opening. Bull, bullish candle opened here and took market to this side. And bearish candle stepped in and closed above 50 percent this can serve as an entry here for you to place your entry here and also put a stop loss here where the market is yeah so you would have seen that would have ride the market what to the downside it serves as what as an entry for traders to what get and get involved in that trade now moving on we have two types of indecision candles with little or what nobody the number one in the session candle we have is what doji and the number two is spinning top doji is actually placed at what the middle why spinning top is always placed at what the top or the bottom depends now doji is categorized into two which is the bullish doji candle and the bearish the bullish is what the dragonfly why the bearish is the gravestone cover let's see an example this happens to be what a doji candle the market started here and pushed the market to the downside bullish candle stepped in and pushed it here pushed it above the opening price therefore selling purchase stepped in and the market what pushed it to the downside and the market closed what here is a doji candle is a doji candle Is a spinning top market opened here, pushed the market to the downside. Seller stepped in and pushed it, buyer stepped in and pushed it here and closed above the opening price. Seller stepped in back and pushed it back to this here, and the market closed here. Now, an example of what a gravestone cover is this I will use this sometimes there is nobody in it. Now, the buying price just stepped in here and pushed the market to the upside. Seller stepped in and pushed it down and closed below. Some of the time it's just stopped there and closed. That indicates that what there's a strong selling pressure in the what in the market. Like I said, gravestone cover indicates what strong selling pressure in the market. Why the example? Let me show you another example here. This can serve as a doji. Is a doji candle that what pushed market to what the side and the market closed here. Now. That can be um, an entry most of the time, but it needs to both confound and get what a good what reason for what entering the market. Why dragonfly? It's market that pushed and closed above where the opening price what I wish that the dragonfly. Okay, I wish that the dragon dragonfly where market opened here. Push the market to the downside. Tell I stepped and pushed it what and closed above. Some of the time it stopped just wide open, but most times it what closes what above. Now it depends on what the market is as at that current state. Now moving on to uh, 